Hello, welcome to another Daily Digest video. I'm Ross Miriam. Today I am playing with one of my favorite cards from Dominaria. That is Tempest Gin. Uh, I know when the set came out, I uh, brewed a mono blue favorable winds skies aggro deck with Tempest Gin. And what I realized was that while Tempest Gin was still one of the best cards in the deck, because the card is quite powerful, the deck did not maximize Tempest Gin's power because it was so low curve that you rarely made more than three or four land drops, so the Jin never got that big. So I wanted to play it in a bit of a bigger deck. This shell is that. We've got 24 islands. We can go a little bit big with these awesome Ballistas and Karns. And then we've got some other cheap aggressive creatures. So an aggressively slanted mid-range deck, a shell I like, and we are off. I'm on the play, this hand looks great. We've got Trickster into Jin into Karn. Back that up with the Ballista, and this should be a tough hand to beat. See what they have. Mono green. I was kind of hoping to play against a Bomac Courier. That I could ambush with a, this trickster. Now one of these tricksters. But it was not to be. A mono green aggro deck. Perhaps splashing for a scrap heap scrounger as they are wont to do right now. That could be a bit of a problem because I don't have a good answer to Galta. Should have maybe I have some bounce spells. I know I have mana leak. Like the yeah, I have blink of an eye and metallic rebuke. Okay. Those are good. I knew I had some bounce spell and some counter spell. I have Thrashing Brontodon. See if they want to keep that one around. They probably think I'm a blue white control deck. Which I guess is okay for Brontodon, but they still bottom it. Play this, tap that thing. Um, and, ooh, another land. Perfect. Play this Jin, which will check the Branch Walker. If they attack, it'll be suggestive of a Blossoming Defense in hand. So I can get in for two here before starting to get it, them in the air. And they should have a tough time dealing with Tempest Jin, which is nice. So I'm going to have a four-turn clock here. Tempest Jin will attack four times, and hopefully I'll just finish them off with uh, with the Ballista. That's sort of my plan. Yeah, they don't even get to attack. Um, well, now I can't really play the Karn because of the Champion. But we'll get in for four, and I'll play a Ballista on one, I guess. And then play Trickster and block Steel Leaf Champion for a turn. I think that's my play. This will stop any Jade Light Rangers they cast or further Branch Walkers from applying more pressure. I'm a little worried about a Galta here, though. It's possible I was supposed to like play Ballista on two, attack with Trickster if they eat a champion, get two for one myself, and if they don't use the Ballista. To deal with Branch Walker, or they just trade Trickster for Branch Walker. And maybe I was supposed to just Karn, see if they wanted to like spend time attacking down the Karn. Because now if they play Galta, I don't have anything to tap that down, and that might race me. This might have been a bad play. Mm hmm. Aether Sphere Harvester. Well, that's not a big deal because of Ballista. It'll hold me off for a bit, but it means they don't have a Galta in their hand, and that's very nice. Okay. Oh, wow, now they're just playing Rampagers. Now they can't even gain life with the Harvester. They're just using that, using the energy to power out another one drop, which is also fine. Ooh, this is actually a good draw. Um, I guess I should have... I didn't think about it. I should have Karn plus one. They probably... Like, they might give me a land. Or might not want to to make this a 5-4 and I get something else out of it. But, whatever. I'll just attack for five. Okay, you go to 
eight. And let's play this Karn. And if they want to like attack the Karn, that's pr that's fine by me. Uh, I have them dead in the air next turn. Let's say hold back Harvester to block or get some energy on their turn and gain some life. What do I reveal? Island and another gen. I guess as they will give me the island. Yes. Uh, that's fine. That can go away. But I'm looking like I'm in good shape. Probably didn't play that one turn optimally, but didn't get punished. Oh, if they have like another green belt rampager here to start getting some energy. And that could end up being pretty good. Harvester plus champion will take down Karn if they want it to. Ooh. Do they have a, a, another way to gain energy and get five life out of this uh, out of this attack? They still need to send both at Karn to kill it because I can block the Rampager, so that's nice. Oh, now they don't. Well, if their last card is Rampager, this could be a problem now. I'll need to draw like a blink in the eye. Oh, but no. Yeah, they just sort of used their energy, which was doesn't seem like it got them anywhere and is now getting them killed. Because they're not quite dead on board. No, they are, because they know I have an island in hand. I guess they're, they're dead because of that information. Like they, I attack them for six, pay four mana, put a counter on Blista, and that's eight. So they need to have something. But... Ooh, that would have also, Trickster also would have been good to just stop them from gaining life next turn. But as is, Tempest Jin was a great year. Just completely dominated this game. Against a deck that does not have many answers for a card like Tempest Gin. Put a counter on this. If they have something in response, I'd let's ping them for one and play this other Ballista. And that should do it. Um. I don't know if they have some sort of life gain effect, but this plays around it. Oh, uh, no. Wrong ability. Okay. I guess I should have played, done that first. That would have been the way to play around a life gain effect. Oh, no. Somebody's calling me. That's awkward. Um, what do I have in the side, Brad? Aether, excuse me. Aether Meltdown seems great. And so does this card that deals with green creatures. Deep Freeze. So let's bring in our removal spells. And let's bring out our counter spells. Those seem somewhat weak. Um, I'm also not big on map. It's kind of slow. And they have Brontodons and stuff if they want to deal with it. Harvester, at least if that goes unanswered, does a lot. Um... And the cheap ones really help enable Zaheed. Pass Vacation Array is just like another answer to big creatures as well. So, yeah, let's. I like this. Five for five. We just take out five cards that are better against control decks and bring in five that are better against an aggro deck. Sounds good to me. Ugh. Sand is not very good. It's like a reasonable mix of stuff, but having a bunch of removal on the draw, no real pressure is not what I want. So I think I'm actually going to send this back. Sand, also not great. Four lands and a six carter, but we got like a two drop and a removal spell, so I'll keep. And it's basically my seven, but without one, but without the blink of the eye. But So it didn't really improve. Okay, Ballista, not bad. And they didn't have Lanor Elves, so that's also good. A card that we definitely have trouble with, especially on the draw. Kenra is fine. 
And I guess it's time to trickster. The question is, do I want to save myself two damage, or do I want to tap whatever they play next? Uh, hmm. If they play a Steel Leaf Champion, I definitely want to deep freeze that. Which means this Trickster is not really attacking. Yeah. Probably going to end up deep freezing whatever they play, so I'm just going to tap the 2 2. I need to find a flyer to pressure them. I'm not going to depend on Trickster to, to be that pressure. Well, I guess it gets to attack anyway because they have this Ronus. Um, it does lose all of their abilities. So deep freezing the Ronus will let it. Uh, We'll let it block. So I'm just going to attack for two here. And if they play a big thing, I'll trickster it and then trade for the Kenra. They are still a mana short of playing Galta here too, so I don't need to play the Deep Freeze yet. Leaf Champion is a little annoying, but let's tap this Ronus. See if they want to trade. Hmm. They do. Well, I'm fine with that, even though this thing has Eternalize, because I want to keep their board in check. Um, And stop them from playing a Galto while I find some other pressure. Uh, a little shy double spelling, but that will at least do something. Definitely need to spend this turn dealing with the champion because it also shuts down the Ronus. Um, but I need to find a flyer soon because uh, I'm running out of ways to answer what pressure they have. There's a branch walker. Yes, they hit a land. That's perfect. So my ballista will deal with this branch walker. Let me hit the hash of voices. Yep. And now they're just getting some energy. Should probably pay life to get another one here. Use that mana. Yep, and that's what they do. Um yeah, so now I have to spend this turn dealing with this Branch Walker, I think. Done. We're still pretty behind here, just haven't been able to find any pressure. This matchup, but we're really dependent on uh, the, th the three mana flyer. That, whose name escapes me right now? We are holding them off quite well. We're still at 20. So we do still have time. And when we play, it'll be a 5 4 flyer. Tempest Gin, that's it. But they're probably going to be able to double spell here because their Rampager only costs one. Good news is, Rampager doesn't immediately turn on Ronus. Bad news is, they have five cards in hand and they're approaching the point where this Kenra is going to come back. Ooh, so they are going to get to attack with Ronus here. They just pump their own Kenra. Yep. So I'm going to take five. Pretty good turn from them. I don't really have a good way to check these Kenras if they have more lands, if they have more spells. I'm also kind of behind. They get to establish some pressure here. Yep. Why can't Tidebinder Mage be legal and standard? Well, now I finally get to play an Aether Sweeper, so that's kind of cute. And uh, hopefully they just use their mana to make a creature big so they can attack with Ronus. If not, I still get to tap something, I guess. I guess I get to like tap the Ronus and double block Rampager if that's still a 3-4. So 
So if they pump something, it'll probably be the Kenra. Maybe not, because I'm on trades. Maybe they still pump the Rampager, which would be annoying. They're also at the point where they can play Galta. Yeah. I guess I was probably supposed to just play both Swoopers and take a hit, because they're likely playing Galta this turn. Now I have to save the super, Swooper for the Galta. Yeah, that was probably it. That was probably the ticket. Um, okay, well, let's trade this and go to seven. And then see how this works out. Aether Meltdown is actually pretty good. <coughs> so I'm going to crash in for one. And make a duder. And pass the turn. We'll melt down the Ronus, Trickster, the Galta, and then trade two of my three ground creatures for the Rampager. At least try to. Yeah, I definitely need to find early flyers in this matchup. Because their cards are pound for pound a lot more powerful than mine, so I need to be the aggro. Maybe I was supposed to mull the five as a result. Oh, geez. Yeah, that one's... That'll do it. Galta gonna be rumbling through. What can we do? I don't really have anything on our sideboard to help this. Really just need to find one of these nine flyers. Otherwise, we're in trouble. So we'll prioritize that. An early swooper could help too, just get some some little damage in. That's us being on the play. Well, this is definitely not it. Way too many Karns. Um, so let's ship that one back. And once again, our six looks a lot like our seven. I, I guess I'll keep and see if I can find what what I need. So this is functional. Definitely bottom. Need to hit land drops here because this card is going to be important. At least they mulligan to five. That's nice of them. And bottom. So we might have a lot of time here. That would help. No land or elves. Although I guess we would have just tapped it. There's a land. That's nice. So Tempest Gen next turn followed by a fourth island would be ideal. No play. Well, I like that. Let's get this trickster down and get some attacking going. So now I'm just going to bounce without kick to whatever they play, and that'll free up the Karn to land safely. I might just make a bunch of constructs. They would, I'd end up having a bunch more 2-2s. Two Let's cast this. Probably just want to draw a bunch of cards. Ooh. Well, that makes making artifacts a lot more attractive. I guess not. if they go land, replay Bronto with the mana up, then it's much less attractive. Maybe I'm just supposed to. I'm just going to plus. I really just want to find flyers. What do we get? Karn and Deep Freeze. That's not great. Having another Karn incentivizes me to minus a two a bunch, and that's what they give me. So. Okay. So I've got a Deep Freeze there when I want it. And they have Lenore Elves too. 
Um, huh. That's interesting. I could just play Dock Hand and Harvester, and then minus two, and check the Brontodon that way. I'm definitely minus twoing this when I have another card in my hand. I'm just going to make a ton of big constructs. So I, th I think this is what I want to do. The uh, Harvester is probably going to eat it to this Brontodon. But that's fine. Karn has a removal spell in store for any Steel League Champion or Galta they play. And if they trade Brontodon and I deep freeze a Steel League Champion, it'll be real hard for them to cast a Galta, so. Oh, wow. Opponent just didn't want to keep playing there. I guess the rest of their hand was pretty bad. Karn just too strong. So, only got to draw Tempest Gin there in one of the three games, but it was far and away the best card played in that game, so good job, Tempest Gin. Uh, the rest of the deck a little underpowered, as expected, being a mono-blue aggro-ish deck. Tricksters look fine. You do have Karn Ballista, which is great. We didn't get to see Zaheed, which I assume would also be awesome, because that check, if you cast that, it checks a champion the turn it comes down, and then starts attacking. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, the, those just cheap flyers are really good. You got a bunch of counter spells against the control deck, so you can play that game, and, and you have a Planeswalker. Um, so the deck seems pretty cool, and that's definitely the kind of deck you want to play Tempest Jin in. It is just so powerful as an aggressive element, but as long as it's a deck that wants to make four, five, six lane drops, that's when you really make it powerful, as opposed to just having it be a three mana, three, four flyer at the top of your curve. So definitely a card I want to explore more, and hopefully you get to see some more sweet decks with it. But Hope you enjoyed watching that sweet deck, and you can come back and see me on, oh, Monday. Yeah, Monday. Bye.